من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد والله لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وسلم أرسله بالهدى ودين الحق ليظهره على الدين كله وكفى بالله شهيدا اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد اللهم بارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم فلما أسلم وتله للجبين وناديناه أن يا إبراهيم قد صدقت الرؤيا إنا كذلك نجزي المحسنين إن هذا له البلاء المبين My dear brothers and sisters Alhamdulillah once again we have all been blessed by Idul Adha the festival of sacrifice on this day we are reminded that tests and trials through which Ibrahim salam was tested. The test, including the unimaginable test of sacrificing his alone son, Ismail, which Allah subhanahu wa himself calls, in Nahada lahu al bala Indeed, it was a manifest test, which was a great test, a clear test, and Ibrahim السلام, he passed each and every test. Allah says, وَإِذِ بُدَلَى إِبْرَاهِيمَ رَبُّهُ بِكَلِمَاتٍ فَأَتَمَّهُ We tested Ibrahim السلام, through some tests, some trials, and he passed every test. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala granting him a great and unique grade and rank the muqam of fulla it was a status of fulla closeness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the closest intimate friend of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala among the whole community among the whole creation among the whole mankind only two personalities were given this great honor Ibrahim alayhi salam and Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi salam Nabi Islam said, Inna Allah attakhadani khalila kama attakhada Ibrahim khalila Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has chosen me as his khalil just as he has chosen Ibrahim alayhi salam his khalil Allah's intimate friend Allah's closest friend So my dear brothers and sisters we need to know and ponder that why Ibrahim alayhi salam was given this high status why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made him Imam nas and Uswatun Hasana that his conduct and Sunnah was we were ordered and we are forced to, in, to copy and to, in, and to follow his Sunnah because there are several reasons and the main reason and the main virtue of Ibrahim salam was his submission to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's will. His obedience and his love for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is very easy to claim that we love Allah. Every one of us claims that we love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But look how Ibrahim alayhi salam loved Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. How he followed and obeyed his command. The greatest trial when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Ibrahim salam in his dream to slaughter his son alone son Ibrahim salam was round about 100 years old and his, he was granted a beautiful son Ismail and Allah ordered him to slaughter his son and Ibrahim salam he got ready he took Ismail salam towards Mina to slaughter him to make Allah happy Shaitan he comes he comes in human shape to, uh, to try and to stop them from this Qurbani, from this Hulhiya. And first of all, he goes to Umm Ismail, Hazrat Hajar, and he
and ask him, do you know? Atadri, Aina Yadharu Ibrahim Ibn? Do you know where Ibrahim has taken your son Ismail? He said, no. He told her that he has taken him to kill, to slaughter. So she said, no, Allah, he can never slaughter because he loved him so much. He is too merciful to kill him, to slaughter him. He said, yes, he, he had intention. She said, why he wants to kill? So he replied that, because he claimed that his Lord had ordered him. So look at the submission of Umm Ismail. She said, if his Lord had ordered him, then he must do that. So this is so submission. This is obedience. This is love for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If his Lord had ordered him, he must do that. And if Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala while discussing this lady, he used to say, Fatilka ummukum ya bani ma'isama. This is your mother, O oh, the children of heavenly water, mean Ummul Arab. O oh, Arab, this is your mother, who was so obedient and submissive that when he listened that Allah ordered Ibrahim to slaughter his son, he got ready. And she said, Then he must do that. Shaitan, he became hopeless. Now again he appeared to Ismail alayhi salam, a son, Atandani, do you know where your father is taking you? No, your father is taking you to slaughter you. He said, why? Because he believes, he claimed that his Lord had ordered him. And he replied the same word. If Allah has ordered my dad to slaughter me, he must do that. He must slaughter me. So he, this is obedience. My dear brother, this is we are required to follow the footsteps of Ibrahim alayhi salam. قَدْ كَانَتْ لَكُمْ أُسْوَةٌ حَسَنَةٌ فِي مُرَاهِمٍ Then Shadan again appeared to Ibrahim alayhi salam, trying to force, to stop him. And Ibrahim alayhi salam threw, threw at him the pebble, which is a sunnah. Hujjaj are following that sunnah. So afterward, Ibrahim alayhi salam informed Ismail, that, Ya Abadi, Inni Ara fil Manami Anni Adbahu Fangur Mada Tara. Father, that, oh, oh my son, I saw in my dream that I was slaughtering you. What is your opinion? He said, Oh, oh my father, if I am a tumor, Satani Duni, inshallah, in a sabi. That, do whatever you have been ordered by Allah. Inshallah, I will be patient. I will be patient. I will accept. I will be submissive. So this is the submission of all this ideal family. Father, son, husband, wife, all, they are submissive to Allah's command. And then the historian has written that Ismail salam, he requested his father that Ushdut Dibati, that tie me very well so that I could not shake. So that I could not shake and lose some reward from Allah subhanahu wa Time me very well and mind your dress so that my blood should not fall on your dress because when my mom will see my blood she will get very sad and then he said that when you meet my mom so say my salam to her so this was the obedience and submission of this whole family my dear brother this is very easy to explain these stories but why we are ordered to slaughter anyone to revive this sunnah. Allah wants us, Allah wants to train us to slaughter everything if it okay, according to Allah's command. When Allah commands you to do that, we must do. When Allah commands you not to do, we are not supposed to do that. This is the lesson and message of this faith. And this was the main practices of all prophets, all sahaba. Look at the Sahaba, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed the verse of Hida, of covering the faces for ladies. وَلْيَضْلِبْنَا بِخُمُرِهِمْ عَلَىٰ بِيُوبِهِمْ Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha, she said that, May Allah have mercy upon the early immigrant Muslim ladies, Nisal Muhajirat, that when this verse was revealed, that وَلْيَضْلِبْنَا بِخُمُرِهِمْ عَلَىٰ بِيُوبِهِمْ the words of Surah Al-Nur, 
لیکن اس کی یہ دعائیں اس کی یہ نمازیں کیسے قبول ہو سکتی ہیں وَمَتْعَمُهُ حَرَامُ وَمَلْبَسُهُ حَرَامُ وَغُزِيَ بِالْحَرَامُ اس کا کھانا بھی حرام کا اس کا پینا بھی حرام کا اس کی پرمش بھی حرام کے مال کی اس کا لباس بھی حرام کا فَأَنَّا يُسْتَجَابُ لِزَارِكُ اس کی دعائیں اس کی نمازیں کیسے قبول ہو سکتی ہیں یہ قربانیاں کچھ بھی اس کی حیثیت نہیں اگر ہم اللہ کے حکموں کے سامنے سر نہیں جھکاتے ہیں ان قربانیوں کا مقصد کیا ہے اِنَّ صَلَاتِ وَنُسُقِ وَمَحْيَايَ وَمَمَادِ لِلَّهِ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ لا شریف کا لہ و بزاری کا امیت و انا اول المسلمین یہ ہے زندگی کا مقصد تیرے دین کی سرفنازی میں اسی لیے مسلمہ میں اسی لیے نماز اسی لیے زندگی ہے کہ ایک اللہ کو خوش کیا جائے وعبد ربک حتی یعطیت اللہقین زندگی کے آخری لمحے تک اس کے حکموں کے سامنے سر و سجود رہنا اس کے حکموں کے سامنے سر تسلیم خم کرنا یہ ہے زندگی کا مقصد اگر ہمارے دنوں میں اتنی قربانیاں کرنے کے باوجود بھی یہ اطاعت شعاری کا جذبہ پیدا نہیں ہوتا کتنے ہم میں سے ہیں وعدے حکم سنتے ہیں تسلیم نہیں کرتے آگے ہی لے بہانے یہود اللہ کا خطب کیوں نازل ہوا تھا اسی لیے کہ وہ اللہ کا حکم سنتے تھے اور کیا کہتے تھے سمعنا وعصینا ہم نے سن لیا ہم نہیں مانے گی اطاعت نہیں کریں گے اللہ حمد ہے ان پر اللہ کا خضب نازل ہوا ہوا ان پر غضا بن علا خضب ان پر اللہ کا خضب نازل ہوا ایک مومن کا وطنہ کیا ہے کہ جب انہیں کہا جاتا ہے اذا دعو اللہ و رسول لیحکم بینہم این یقول سمعنا و اطعنا جب وہ سنتے ہیں تو اللہ کا حکم تو کہتے ہیں سمعنا و اطعنا ہم نے سن لیا اب مانے بغیر کوئی چارہ نہیں یہی ابراہیم علیہ السلام کی پوری زندگی ہے ان کی پوری زندگی کو ایک لفظ میں بیان کے جائے وہ اللہ کے فرم و برداری ہے یہ طاعت ہے اللہ تعالی ہمیں ایسا ایمان حضرت علیہ وسلم کے طرح فرمائے الحمدللہ رب العالمین والصلاة والسلام وعلى شرف الانبیاء والمرسلین محمد وعلى آلہ واصحابہ اجمعین اللہم انا نسألک بأنا نشہد انتا انت اللہ لا إله إلا أنت لحد الصمد الذي لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد اللهم وفقنا لما تحب وترضى اللهم وفقنا لما تحب وترضى اللهم زيننا بزينة الإيمان واجعلنا هداة مهديين اللهم حب إلينا الإيمان وزينه في قلوبنا وكره إلينا الكفر والفسوق والكسيان واجعلنا مع الراشدين اللهم اقض حاجاتنا وحاجات المسلمين اللهم اقض حاجاتنا وحاجات المسلمين اللهم اقض حاجاتنا وحاجات المسلمين واشفنا واش مرضانا مرض المسلمين اللهم إنا نسألك الصحة والعفة والعفاف والغنى اللهم اغفر لجميع موتانا موت المسلمين اللهم اغفر لهم وارحمهم إنك أنت الغفور الرحيم اللهم ادخلهم الجنة الفردوس وأعيدهم من عذاب القبر وعذاب النار اللهم انصر الإسلام والمسلمين اللهم أعز الإسلام والمسلمين اللهم انصر الإسلام والمسلمين اللهم أعز الإسلام والمسلمين اللهم دمر أعداء الدين اللهم دمر أعداء الدين اللهم صالح بين كلمتهم وزلزل قدامهم وشتت شملهم ومزق جمعهم وقرب بنيانهم اللهم أنزل بهم بأسك الذي لا ترده وللقوم المجرمين اللهم إنا نسألك علما نافعا وعملا متقبلا ورزقا طيبا وشفاء من كل داء اللهم اكفنا بحلالك عن حرامك وأغننا بفضلك عن من سواك وصلى الله تعالى خير خلق محمد وأجمعين رحمه الله